Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with an Aldi haul. I just needed a few things. I ended up spending $96, and I feel like I really didn't get that much. So let me jump right in. So I grabbed some Rainier cherries. Howard and I really like them a lot, and they were, I think, $6.99 a pound. I just love having parsley on hand. I use it for all sorts of recipes especially the ones that call for cilantro because my husband does not like cilantro. So I use this in place of that. Very seldom, I very seldom wear makeup. And I recently wore some makeup and realized I did not have any makeup removing towelettes. And so these supposedly are comparable to Neutrogena and they were only $1.99. And I thought that was a pretty good deal. You get 25 of them. We are going to start trying to potty train Harrison, who is my two-year-old. And I've never bought any type of, you know, like pull-ups or training pants, anything like that. Um, you get 22 of these and they were $5.99 and I thought that would be a good start for us to try. I grabbed some heavy whipping cream because I use that all the time in different recipes. This heavy whipping cream was $4.35. To me, that is a lot of money. One of their special buys of the week um, are these Philly cheesesteak mini spring rolls and they just sounded good to me. So I just wanted to give them a try. Now I posted these bars, these chunky bars on my Instagram, which is Foodimentary Adventures in Food. I don't post very often, but I do post when I really like something. And these candy bars are one of the things that I really like. So if you like Kit Kats, you will love these. To me, these are a lot better than Kit Kats. The chocolate is so good. And I don't know if these they're getting rid of these because they were on clearance for 39 cents. So I grabbed 11 bars. Howard says he doesn't really like these and doesn't really like chocolate, but he always ends up eating stuff he says he doesn't like. So that's why I got 11 bars. Also by the checkout stand, I saw these and they sounded pretty good. Never tried them before. Milk chocolate with s'mores. I always like to um, cook with beef smoked sausage and I couldn't remember if I had any. Um, if I do, I may have one pack, so I just wanted to have a package of this on hand. And this was, I think, $3.45. They had a new flavor of Bluebell ice cream, this oatmeal cream pie. And it says, let me try to find what it has in there for y'all. Okay, uh, here it is. Oatmeal flavored ice cream with Hints of brown sugar mixed with soft oatmeal cookies and a vanilla icing swirl. Sorry, I was trying to read it. So curious to try this, excited about that. Grab some mushrooms because I just like to have them on hand for recipes. And I've heard people talk about for years that they've had, that they have pizza dough in their Aldi. I have never seen it before today and it was in the frozen section, not the refrigerated section that people um, talk about. I grabbed some of these tilts. I really like them a lot. Key lime crunch. They remind me of, um, oh, what's the name of those? Can't remember, I'll insert it, but I really like these. They are very, very good. Grabbed some ham, just a half. Grabbed some ghee. I love to cook with ghee recipes that um, call for butter, like if I'm making pancakes. And um, if you don't know, butter burns pretty quickly, but this ghee doesn't. So I love cooking with ghee, like my eggs, my pancakes, French toast, stuff like that. I saw these two um, stirring paste I, that I've never seen before. Um, this is Italian herb. And here it is, shows you what's in there. Oregano, basil, you name it, rosemary, marjoram, etc. So I grabbed that. And then I like to make Asian dishes. Sometimes they call for lemongrass. That's not something I always have on hand. So I grabbed this, just a half. These strawberries look pretty good. And I think they were only $1.49, so I grabbed that. There's a recipe that I wanted to try and it called for crushed tomatoes and I didn't have any. So I just grabbed a um, can of crushed tomatoes. I have had these before, these croissant buns, and they are very good. I like to toast them with butter and make breakfast sandwiches out of them. And I think they were $3.99. I also love cooking with grapeseed oil. I've never seen, I don't think, this grapeseed oil spray. And I like it because it has a really high smoke point. So if you're frying something like eggs or something else like that, 
and sometimes olive oil doesn't work. Grapeseed oil does the trick. So I grabbed two of them because I don't think I've seen it before. And then I always grab their um, grapeseed oil again, just for the same thing, just for high heat cooking, but this is the oil form. Well, I guess they're both oil, oil and spray. Grab some of these apple straws. Harrison really loves apple straws. Normally I get the name brand and um, they, I think these come around maybe once a year, the Clancy's version. So I grabbed one bag because that's all they had. I recently discovered these home style tortilla chips. I really like them a lot. My favorite brand name is On The Border and these probably are my second favorite. So these are a really kind of thick and hearty chip. I like to heat mine up in the air fryer just to warm them up a little bit to make them a little bit crispier, but they are very good. And as you can see, the expiration date is coming up pretty soon. I ignore that expiration date. I've eaten these way past the expiration date and they are fine. Grabbed Harrison some Melt. That's again, my two-year-old. And then I also grabbed him some of these knockoff Pringles because he absolutely loves these things. So this is everything that I picked up on my fill-in Aldi haul. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.